if a if a drone goes missing and winds up on someone's roof or in someone's yard or it hits someone's car, you know how to track it back to somebody. Credit the FAA's new registration requirement for anyone who owns a drone that weighs more than 0.55 pounds. Kids who are getting toy drones to fly around the house, um, it's not going to be an issue. Um, something that's meant to carry a GoPro or have a, a camera and a recording device and a GPS will cross that limit. They're the first federal rules among drones governing hobbyists. Owners have to register on the FAA's website with their name, home, and email addresses, then place an identification number on each of their drones. It's on the owner to make sure it gets done. By having your name attached to something, uh, I think it helps people to be uh, safer and to operate in a, in a more respectful way. The new rules come on the heels of a report by Bard College citing 240 close calls between drones and airplanes nationwide, including nearly 90 in the tri-state area. The FAA warns failure to comply could cost you up to $27,500 in fines or up to three years in jail. I expect that early on the FAA will not seek draconian penalties on people, but will use it more as a PR measure to try and educate uh, but, you know, to the extent that these regulations are in place, it will allow them to go after folks with more tools uh, in their arsenal. Christian Lauren is the founder and CEO of NJ Drone Store in Totowa. The key to the industry? Just education, and that's what we're all about. We're all about not just selling drones, but helping you learn about it. Like, if you were to come into the store and say, hey, I've got $3,000 to blow right now, and I want to get that big drone, I would ask, have you ever flown before? And if you say no, I'm not going to sell you the big drone. I'm going to point you in the direction to one of the smaller ones and explain you've got to learn the basics. Hundreds of thousands are expected to fly off shelves this holiday season. A good rule of thumb? Most under 100 bucks won't require registration. However, something along the lines like this that's around like $1,500, that would have to be registered. And if they did buy one that was um, large enough that it would require being registered, uh, you know, we just point them in the right direction to all the stuff that they would need to fill out and how to get that ID number for their drone. So is it deterring people? Is it hurting business? Not really. Um, it's, it's all about just educating people. Um, and I mean, think about cars. Would, you know, having to register your vehicle deter you from getting a car? The FAA says if you already own a drone, you can start registering it on December 21st. And the deadline is February 19th. They'll waive the $5 charge if you do it within the first 30 days. And remember, that only goes for drones that are between 0.55 pounds and 55 pounds. This one here is only about a third of a pound. You wouldn't have to register it. <laughs> And if you do find one under your Christmas tree this year, the FAA says get your license and registration squared away before your first flight. For NJTV News, I'm Erin Delmore.